quality to be dusty. You go on their page, all it is is naked people. It's not giving. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not giving, oh, like, quality photographer. It's giving, like, pervert. Hey, y'all. What's up? It's me again. It's Nate Janae. And this is going to be a video on how to be photogenic. And I'm not just meaning photogenic in, like, selfies and stuff because I've posted a video before called, um like how to be catfish or something like that. I mean photogenic and like photo shoots and stuff. So y'all, since I was a little girl, I grew up watching America's Next Top Model and I always wanted to be on America's Next Top Model. Um, I don't know if they're still doing it, but it's just, it's not the same way it used to be. And then also, you know, like, when I watch clips of America's Next Top Model that used to be playing when I was a kid, I didn't used to think it was as bad as it was. Like, when I look back now, I'm like, what the <laughs> is going on? But every little girl pretty much wanted to be on America's Next Time Model. Like, we all wanted to be able to do all the photo shoots and stuff, like little wacky challenges and blah, blah, blah. Like, that's always been me. So I've always liked to do different stuff, kind of like wacky stuff. And I always thought America's Next Time Model was super cool. So I would basically be watching it and studying it and you know, getting, um, what is the correct word? Like acclimated with all of the big names in the fashion industry and stuff like that. Just because I always swore like, you know what? I'm going to model when I get older. I'm going to be able to model, I'm going to do it. And when I was a little kid at one point, I was modeling and I did have the opportunity to go ahead and you know, be in the modeling industry or be in the acting industry and stuff like that. But I think I was like seven or something. I decided to, um, I decided not to. Like I told my mom, mom, I want to live a regular childhood. Um, I really said it for the reason, like I didn't want um, someone else to be in control of my career. Like I didn't want decisions to be made for me and you know like i couldn't have a say so in a sense because i was a kid and i also didn't want you know like you see how a lot of the disney stars end up and like how stuff like that happens i wanted to be able to one being i'm kind of a control freak y'all i'm not even gonna lie i wanted to be able to be in control of my own career i wanted to be able to um be in control of all the details and stuff like that like you know let my vision for what I want to accomplish be able to be my own instead of other people making decisions for me and me not being able to speak up or me not being able to, you know, just do really what I wanted to do because I like to do what I want to do and I don't like people telling me what to do. So I told my mom, mommy, I want to live my regular childhood. Like, I don't want to model or act right now. I just want to live regular. Girl. I should have tried to pursue the model career. I ain't gonna lie. Went through some shit. But that's aside from the thing, right? So how I learned how to be photogenic is I used to definitely, um, first of all, if you're trying to start like a modeling portfolio, then it's really good to go online and look up what type of pictures you need for a modeling portfolio. And you don't need to spend the most money to, um, what's it called, to build a portfolio. You don't need to like go to the, the top photographers necessarily. You do need to go to a quality photographer. You do need to go to somebody who's going to give you quality pictures. You get what I'm saying? You always want to be safe. You always want to make sure, you know, you're going, you're not going to nobody sketchy. Cause some of these people be sketchy. Some of these people be, I feel like, like the picture quality be dusty. You go on their page, all it is is naked people it's not giving you know what i'm saying like it's not giving oh like quality photographer it's giving like pervert or like dusty pictures so as long as you're getting quality pictures out of somebody that's perfect um i would definitely go on google and search like okay what is necessary for a modeling portfolio right when i'm doing photo shoots and stuff like that i play like my favorite songs in the background or like whoever shooting me would be like okay what type of song do you want you know like playing music to catch a vibe is definitely cool it's kind of the same thing with dancing like you play your favorite song you go and dance to your favorite song like dance like nobody's watching type of thing um i always keep in mind if you know of a big model named coco rocha i always keep in mind fluidity 
when i'm posing and stuff like that so i really pose like i'm dancing basically so like when i'm i'm just trying to get like different movements and stuff like that like coco rocha is a great person to study if you're looking to be photogenic and you're looking for um different poses and things like that um i study other models i study um different like photography styles because sometimes it is about being photogenic but then also it's about um knowing what lighting works for you knowing what um you know knowing your angles and stuff like that so i would say it's really important to go look in the mirror and you know turn different ways and practice before you go take pictures um like angle your head up different ways try to see what angles work for you because an angle like this might work for me and it might not work for somebody else or angle like this might work for somebody and y'all see like i'm looking a little bit weird but either way um a few tips to keep in mind are you always want to lengthen your neck not lengthen it to the point of looking like this where they looking up your nose that's not cute you get what i'm saying you never wanted like all up in your nose yeah now you see them boogies <laughs> You want to lengthen your neck to the point where like you're elevating you never want to shrink down you don't want to be in pictures looking like this so it's always about elevating your neck um you want to like shoulders up confidence so open up them with shoulders and think confidence 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 is a very big thing right think like okay like you feeling yourself you the baddest bitch in the room you the baddest bitch in the planet period confidence is very big always lengthen your neck always open up those shoulders um never box yourself up you don't want to make yourself look small especially somebody like me i'm 5'4 um there are petite models but thing is in the modeling industry a lot of people are usually tall so the image that you want to go for is being tall you always want to lengthen yourself like stretch yourself out a little bit right um and that's just aside from posing because you really want to make sure you're not this don't look good. Y'all can't tell me this look good. This don't look good. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say like, you always want, there. you see the difference? Right? Looking in the mirror will show you, like I always have studied, especially with makeup and stuff like that. I've studied the contours of my face. I've studied like the, the bone structure that I have. You don't need to have the best bone structure to be captured beautifully on camera. Some people don't like have the most contoured faces, but they know their angles. Knowing your angles is very important. Knowing what looks good to you on camera is very important. So that's a good thing to keep in mind when you're going to go do a photo shoot, right? Um, I would definitely, obviously wardrobe is important, but whatever your look you're going for, you will be able to accomplish like when you go to do a photo shoot, da 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 right um i definitely should have prepared talking points um either way but it's it's just like i feel like once you start looking in the mirror and studying how you look and how you want to be captured on film what looks good to you what or like you know asking friends or whatever like okay does this look right does this angle look right for my face blah 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 stuff like that um once you study other big models you have naomi campbell coco rocha Tyra Banks, um, what was it, somebody? Mm. I have failed you all. I've forgotten their names. Once you study other models, you will definitely have a good job of, you know, figuring out a few poses. I watch America's Next Top Model. You could go watch old seasons of America's Next Top Model if you want to get a good feel for how they were saying, okay, this is what to do, that's what to do. Um, there are people on TikTok talking about how to pose, how to model. You could find stuff on YouTube. Like, there's so much different resources out there. You could be reading books. Hell, like, study famous people if you want to. Like, study somebody like Rihanna. Like, how she looks in pictures, different stuff like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a model. It, but whatever image you're looking for, you can definitely find it by just looking and researching and figuring out what you want to do, right? So um that's pretty much how i'm like photogenic <laughs> that was in my video yeah okay i'm really fucking work okay see y'all next time <laughs>